Welcome to Crack It. Today in this video we are going to discuss a very frequently asked interview question which is nothing but how are you testing your repository layer of your Spring Boot application or how you can test your Spring Boot repositories. What are the annotations that you are going to that you are using in your application to test your repository layer. So the answer to this question is nothing but the at JPA test annotation. So in this video we are going to discuss how are we going to test our Spring Boot repository layer with a code demo and we are going to discuss the uses of the at data jpa test annotation and at before each annotation as well there are many ways to write the unit test cases so in this code demo we are go we are following given when then so this is also one of the interview questions that you may be expect in your interview which is nothing but what are the test case pattern that you are following or what what is the, what will be the structure of your test cases that you are following in your organization so given when then has gained a popularity and it is it is being used by most of the organizations these days so it which is nothing but in our inside our test case we have we will have three structures one is given second is when and the third is then given is nothing but setting up the conditions for the execution of the test cases or if any preconditions that needs to be run before executing my actual test case so all those will come come in given next is when so when is nothing but executing the actual uh, uh, test case for which i have written so action or behavior that we are going to test third is then what am i expecting from this unit test case or what am i expecting from the uh, when that is that is what is given when then and this is being commonly used across organizations if you are not familiar with it uh, it's it's okay anyways i'll be uh, writing the unit test case in this pattern and while we are doing the code demo you'll be understanding it really well so this is the structure of the test case that we are following which is nothing but the given when then. So we are going to write the unit test case for our repository layer. So what are the annotations that we are going to use in this code demo or what are the annotations that is required to test our repository layer. So that is nothing but at data JPA test. So we are going to write a repository using the JPA repository. So I am going to use this annotation at data JPA test and uh, I'm going to use at before each at before each I'm going to use it to set up the preconditions for my test cases what is this at data JPA test annotation and why do we need it so this at data JPA test annotation this is used to test do the integration testing of the JPA repositories so if I have written my uh, repository using the JPA repository so how am I going to test this it's very easy when we use at data JPA test annotation so why is it easy because this at data JPA test annotation will configure me the in-memory database automatically so there's no need for the extra database configurations that I need to do this annotation will take care of creating or configuring the in-memory database operations next is creating the test entity manager so at data JPA test annotation in turn will create the test entity manager as well also it will set up the transactional test environment as well so all these will be uh, handled by this at data JPA test annotation itself so there's no need for us to create the in-memory database there's no need for us to create the test entity manager or setting up the transactional test environment there is no manual work required all will be handled by this annotation itself spring boot is uh, spring boot provides all these to us in the form of this annotation so it's like very easy so this annotation will display the uh, sql queries in the console if you don't want to display it so there is also an option to provide show sql equals false if we provide so show sql equals false it will not display the sql queries in our console so it's very easy why are we using add data jpa test because to provide a transactional environment to create a test entity manager and to create a in-memory database next is at before each annotation this is also we are going to use in our application so why do we need this it is because this annotation uh, if i have any preconditions or if i need to set up my database before uh, before running my test cases so all those will be handled in a method which has this at before each annotation so this annotation needs to be executed before each test case method in a test class so if i have a test class and if i want something to be executed uh, before each of the methods in the test case so 
that this the the method with this annotation will takes care of it so why do we need this annotation as i told earlier it is to set up the required preconditions or to perform the common initialization steps let's now start the code demo for this add data jpa test annotation so i have a employee service and in that employee service i have a employee repository so we are going to write a test case for this employee repository only and you can see that this employee repository is extending jpa repository so inside the employee repository i have two methods one is find by department id which is using uh, which is using the feature of a jpa repository which is nothing but if we provide find by department id jpa in turn will write query and it will return the employee object to us so next we have used at query annotation and inside this at query annotation we have write a, a jpl query so we can write a jpl query or a sql query here if we write a sql query there is some option called native query and if we give a, native query equals true then it will consider that as a sql query so we we can write anything so just to demonstrate at jpa test annotation so we have written two types of methods one is by using the uh, default jpa repositories writing query method and the another one is writing a jpl query using this at query annotation so we have now two methods one is finding by department id and the another is find employee by employee id so we are going to write the test case for this so this is the test class that we have written so you can see that i have given, given the class name as employee repository test and it is inside the com crack it data jpa test dot repository package it is similar to the actual main java package so we have written our test case here and to my class to my test class i have annotated with at J data jpa test so i have annotated this at data jpa test to my class the test class so if you see the uh, documentation for this at data jpa test you can see that this is the annotation for a jpa test that focuses only on the jpa components yes if we are using jpa repository then then you can use this at data jpa test annotation since we are using data J, uh, jpa repository in our example we are using at data jpa test annotation so add data jpa test is a class level annotation and we need to provide it on the top of our class next is uh, let's next let's come to this uh, test class which is nothing but uh, finding department by department id as i told earlier we have written our test class in a way as given when then so where is our given given is my setup method so setup method how do we need to write we need to write it using the at before each annotation so inside the at before each annotation i have set up two records which is nothing but i have created two records in the employee database with employee ids 1 and 2 you can see that here so i am calling a populate employee method here and this is nothing but creating the employee object and the id i am passing that id which is nothing but 1l and 2l so in this setup method i have created two employees with id 1 and 2 so my given condition will get executed first since we are using given when then yes i have written my given in the setup method itself next is when when is nothing but calling the actual method so what is my actual method i have written my test case for this find by department id method so i need to call that find by department id method with 2l let's see whether it, whether it has department id as 2 yes it has department id as 2 it is because we are creating an employee with employee id 2 and i am using the same id 2 for the department as well in this example so i will be having that record here so in my assertions i have written assert true as employee dot is present since we it is returning an optional i am checking whether the object is present or not and if it is present what are we doing we are checking whether the department id is uh, true or not so this test case is like very simple it's right it is like writing unit test case for any other service or the any other layers but the main thing that we need to 
uh, look here is at JPA test annotation. So if we use this, there is no need for us to configure any uh, application test YAML files or anything. If you see here, I didn't create any application test YAML file, but even then this at JPA test annotation will create the in-memory database to me, will create the entity manager to me and it will hand over that test entity manager to me. So that is what we have to note down here. So in my uh, in my test class, it's like very simple. I have written a test class which should return me a department ID. Since I have persisted my uh, employee object in setup, yes, this will get uh, inserted even before this test class is executed. Then uh, we are uh, we have written our given condition. We have written our when condition and our then is also ready. So our test class is ready. So similarly, I have written for the employee as well. I have written for the uh, uh, when the department id is not present as well so if the department id is not present it will return an empty object to me optional empty to me that is why i'm checking whether that is uh, empty or not so similarly like for the employees what are we doing so uh, we are checking for the employee method as well so that employee is uh, using this at query annotation is there any difference here no nothing difference the test case will be the similar for whether it is the JPA query or it is a JPL query or it is a, a native query. So for all these things, the test case will be similar. That is why I have written two types here just to demonstrate that writing test cases is similar for everything. So let's run this test case. So if we run this test case, yes, we can see that uh, it is uh, for each of these, which are the queries that is run. So you can see that it is inserting the employee each time why it is inserting the employee each time it is because this setup method will get executed before each method so for each of these methods this will run that is why it is inserting that employee object each and every time so my employee object will be there and it is uh, executing the uh, sql query so uh, as i told earlier so this at data JPA test annotation will execute the SQ, will show the SQL queries to us in the console if you don't want to get printed. So you can provide show SQL as false and let's run it again and let's see what happens. So you can see that nothing gets, uh, uh, nothing is printed in the console here. Why? It is because we have provided show SQL equals true. So by default, the source SQL property of this data JPA annotation will be true so if you want to make it false you have to provide that to false in this annotation here shows equal equals false false it will not print the query here so with this only we have to test our repository layer so how do we need to test our repository layer we need to provide at jpa test to the uh, repository test class then if we have any preconditions we need to provide that preconditions in add before each and we need to write our test cases so and we are following given when then here so in this way only we have to test our repository in our spring boot application with this we come to the end of this video so thanks for watching crack it if you like the video please like share comment and subscribe your likes and shares really mean a lot and it will help to reach a larger number of audiences so stay tuned for updates